This is going to be quick. It's going to be two ideas that I have for songs. I've been talking with some people about doing a drummer, a uh, couple other people, a couple people for everything. I've got a couple people lined up for everything. Just because I want to get this done. And it's going to, not in a hurry, I just want to get it done. So when the time comes, whether it's a month, two, three, when all the eggs are lined up, I want them to hatch all at once. Get it? So everybody that I've been talking to, go ahead and listen. Because you may be that egg that I need to hatch at that very moment. If you get my drift. Get it? Got it? Good. Here we go with idea number one. It's an oldie. I've played it several times. I'm just going to play a little bit right now so you, you will know what I'm talking about. I don't have a name for it. shut off because the main point is for you to hear this not see me playing it because I'll probably be playing bass but mother farting as you can tell I have this thing cranked up kind of loud so that's why I'm doing this quickly I'm trying to do it quickly all right so yeah, the hell with it. That's one. Number two is the other one I've been messing with. The only main part I got are these three chords. Okay, you ready?
now you saw the second song or the second thought that I'm working on. I changed the second part a little bit from uh, then to then to just open chords. Because I don't want everything to be the same. I don't want to chug everything and I don't want to start galloping everything like Iron Maiden. So that second part's to be open. It's open to me working on it. And there's a third part that I haven't decided on yet. The other one is this. Let's see. That's the bass. I'm trying to remember how the song goes. called Eternal Darkness. I do not remember the... It is, uh... Well, I'm thinking about redoing a song, just not calling it what it was called, but if I have one person sing it, we can use it. If I have another person sing it, now don't get upset, Dave. I know you're already tripping. Calm down. Because I'm either going to go one of two directions. Screaming, David Lee Roth type stuff, or typo negative, which is, you know. 
That's what I'm thinking right now because I can't find Vince Neil. If I could find a Vince Neil <clears throat> that could sound exactly like Shout Out the Devil, I would go with him without even thinking. Boom! Done. I don't care if he weighed 600 pounds because the thing is, probably won't tour with it. And if we do a tour with it, then that'll be a whole different thing. I'll have to find a wig and everything. So, what is the other one? It's uh, ah, crap. Well, Disorderly, and I don't know if I'll use it or not. What's the other one? Sing. If you can't sing along with that, then you're not in. Okay, so what's the next one? Queso. Mm. Uh, gosh darn it. I'm having a brain fart, which is not uncommon. <laughs>
That's why I had a kill switch put on. Alright, so that's it. That's it. And this is the beast I'm going to record everything with because I love my guitar. I'm so happy I have it back. This is the best guitar in the world. Best girlfriend I've ever had. Ever! So I challenge all of you women out there to try to top this guitar. If you can, I shall marry you. All right, lights.